Hey guys, welcome back to World Mechanics. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. In today's video, guys, if your ignition start stop button does not work and needs to be replaced on a Dodge, guys, on a Dodge Journey, stay with us and we'll show you how to do that. That Dodge Journey, guys, in uh, Europe, okay, that thing is known as Fiat Fremont, which is pretty much the same vehicle, but Journey is in the US market and the rest of the world, it's known as Fiat Fremont. So, let me guys introduce you, we will have more than 200 videos on this car, more than 200 videos, so please guys subscribe to the channel for more videos. Now, what do we need to do? Okay, it's, some people will attempt to remove that button, okay, without disassembling here, but I wouldn't recommend it because you can severely damage your dash. So, we'll just include a little bit of extra work to remove that piece so we can access, okay, the ignition switch from the back side okay and pull it out and we'll show you how now if you want to skip that step it's your it's your opinion it's your car but uh, let us show you how we're going to do it a little bit longer route and we'll explain towards the end of the video where the clips are so let's go ahead and start on it now so <clears throat> right now guys okay we need to get a panel removal tools like that all the tools and parts that we use will be listed in the description of the video below for your convenience. So please check it out. Now, you need to start, okay, removing that vent. Okay, let me show you how now. Okay, you're going to start from this side right here. There is one clip here. Then slowly start getting the trim piece out. Okay, check it out, it came out, now here there is a few more clips, do not apply too much pressure, just a little bit of pressure and hold it with, with one hand. Okay, and when you come, okay, to this spot right here, okay, this is a little bit, uh, a little bit tricky, there is a special round clip here, so you have to be careful, okay, hold it and gently Okay, start prying it out. This is uh, this is the round clip. Okay, those are the other clips. One, two, three, four, five, and two little ones here, two on top. So you can see that piece now is out of the way. Okay, next guys, we need to go ahead, okay, and remove uh, that trim right here. So again, with the plastic panel removal too. Okay, there is a couple clips, one, two, and one round one here, so you have to be careful, okay, for that round one. Okay, it came out just like that, you can see. Now, right here, we have one screw here and one over here with a Torx. Okay, this is Torx 15, our screwdriver, but I think Torx 17 is the actual size. Not sure, but 15 works for us. So. We'll go ahead, remove the screws now. Okay, like that. Perfect. Now, right here, we're underneath, guys. Okay, you need to grab it, okay, right here on the bottom. Grab it like that. Okay, there is two clips, one here and one over here. Okay, then you lift up and pull it out. Now, we need to disconnect, okay, this uh, cable right here. This is the tooth, okay, that little tooth right here. So what we're going to do, press in. Okay, let me grab it with the other hand because it's a little bit... Inconvenient. Now, if it doesn't want to go out, I'm going to press this one in. A little bit more. And I'll get a small screwdriver now. Okay, this tooth is too, too tight. Okay, perfect. And now, it came out, okay, you can see it just like that. 
Okay guys, so next what we need to do right here, you have two screws that we need to remove again. Okay, one. And okay, let me leave this one here. Okay, <laughs> wrong one. And this one here now. Perfect. Now <clears throat> let me show you what we need to do with the plastic panel removal too. We are going to start okay prying a few clips open again. Okay, you pull it over the front, pull up. Now we have the wiring harness that we need to okay disconnect so you can see now okay right here this tooth okay this thing we need to press it down okay now this tooth right here this needs to be pressed down again and okay that little bitty tooth okay right here press on this one Okay, and I need to use the small screwdriver for here. Okay, and you can see that thing, guys, came out like that. So with that thing out of the way now, okay, let me show you what we are going to do. Now with a small flat head screwdriver, okay, let's come on this side a little bit. You're going to come, okay, and there is, okay, one clip. I'm going to show you how to pull that thing out in just a second. Okay, that you need to pull out. Okay, like that. There is one tooth right here, one on this side. Okay, you can see one here, one over there. And it stays like that. Now, I'm going to go under the dash, okay, and right here now, okay, let us show you, you have two clips, one here, one here, so I'll press in and pull that thing out, okay, and the bottom side came out, now I'll do the rest, okay, let me just hold it like that now, okay, with the screwdriver, and I'll do the rest like that. Okay, for the top. Okay guys, and this is the ignition switch. Now you come down like that. Okay, right here. We need to press down, pull it out. Now, looking at this thing, okay, that's where that clip is. Okay, like that. Then on top, you have two more. Okay, this right here. So, that's how you guys remove it, okay? Let's go ahead and show you how to replace it now. Let us show you guys, okay? Right here, all we have to do, connect it, okay? And uh, we're going to have, okay, right here, this is, uh, you can see you have uh, different codes and stuff like that, but if you, if you order one, okay, you always, have to double check uh, part numbers and all that stuff. So make sure guys that you double check everything before you order one. So I'll go ahead, push it in, okay? Start, stop, facing down. All right, push it in like that. It's stuck there. Now we need to go ahead and get that piece in there. Okay, like that. And from that point on, we have to go ahead and install everything here in the middle. Okay, let's see, you can see, it works. So, thank you for watching guys, please subscribe to the channel for more videos and see you guys next time.